for something this morning. I was awake, thanking the Lord for touching my body and allowing me to lay down and sleep last night. So then I began to think about all the things that I had to be thankful for. I went plumb back to 1977 when I met Mama, fell in love. Wasn't long till Jay was born. And I'll never forget that day when they laid him in my arms. And I was so proud and almost passed out. And then four years later, Richard come along, but he didn't come quite so easy. False labor and go through all that twice. And finally he got here with a head full of black hair, all so excited. We decided because of that, we wouldn't try to have no more because he was such a struggle to get here. And then Carrie, we find out that mom is pregnant with Carrie. And then I get the little girl that we'd waited for so long. And it seemed like overnight they grew up and they were gone. But children were added to those unions. So now I not only have kids, but grandkids. And I was laid on my bed last night and realized how blessed I was to have my family. Every one of you. Mom, I thank you for being a, not a mother-in-law, but a mom to me. My mom's not here, but I can truly say all these years that I've been married, that I have truly found Mom Gagel to be more than a mother-in-law, but just a mom. Thank you, sis, wherever you are, for being part of my family, doing all the things you've done for us, loving my kids over the years, making sure they had birthday cards. If nobody else remembered, you did. I just want the Lord to know today how thankful I am and blessed that I still have my wife, I still have my kids and my grandkids. While many others have had to bury family, bury children, a wife, God's been good to me and I've never had to do that. And I just want you to know how much I appreciate God and how much I love y'all and want this day to be special to y'all. God bless everyone of you. I thank you, God, for your blessings today. Thank you that I have all of my kids in the house. I thank you for every one of them, my grandkids. God, biologically, Josh doesn't belong to us and Steph doesn't belong to us. But you placed them into this family. And we love them. I thank you for Annabeth that wasn't born into this family, but you gave her to us. I thank you for the joy that she has brought along with all my other children. I thank you for everything you've given me, a house to live in, clothes to wear, cars to drive. Thank you for the food on our table today. We don't have words adequate enough to tell you how much we love you. Thank you for being so good to us. Keep us now, we pray, and ask in Jesus' name. Amen.